Hey there, this is Dr. Miguel Cruz. In today's short video, we're going to be talking about neck pain while you're driving, how to avoid it, and if you're already experiencing it, it's an easy fix. If that sounds like you, stay tuned. So I hear this from my patients quite often. Doc, I just went on a thousand mile drive and my neck or my back is killing me. Particularly this time of year, people are taking vacations, visiting friends and, and family. I experienced this myself several years ago. I had this Chrysler LeBaron and I loved that car. It had these plush, deep seats. But if I drove more than 30 minutes in it, it killed me. My neck would just go into spasms. So that led me on a journey learning about ergonomics both in the vehicles as well as home and work, which is something that we'll talk about in a future video. But what I learned from all that is looking at my patients' postures while they're in their car. So if somebody comes into the office talking about that, I'm going to follow them out to their car and I want to see how they're sitting. And what usually happens is their posture while they're driving is horrible. So I'm going to give you an example. I've got this seat tilted pretty far back here. So what happens is the people end up leaning way forward, holding on with their hands, with their arms extended to the steering wheel. So there's no support anywhere. There's no support for the arms. There's no support for the neck. There's no support for your head. Um, of course, it's going to cause some problems. It's going to cause muscle spasms. So let me give you an example. What I've got here is a bowling ball. It weighs about 10 pounds. Now, the anatomy books tell us that the average head weighs 7 to 10 pounds. I've never weighed anybody's head before, but I'm going to take their word for it. If I were to hold this bowling ball in close to my body, I can hold it here for a good long time without really fatiguing my arms very much. But the farther away I hold it, it's going to get much more difficult and my arms are going to start giving out, the muscles are fatiguing, and it's just not going to last very long. So use that example here. Our head should be resting over the shoulders where the weight is going straight down on the shoulders. If we're out here, it's like holding that bowling ball way out away from you. It's going to stress your muscles. You ever see people walking around and their heads way out in front of their chest? Those people generally have a lot of neck problems. And I guarantee you, they probably drive like this with neck sticking out like that. Now, how you fix that is very simple. You bring the seat up, and this would be my comfortable driving position right here. My back of my shoulders are supported. My head is touching the headrest right there. And you can't see it, but my elbows are resting on a pad and on another pad at my door. And my hands are just gently reaching my steering wheel. So I can drive like this for hours and I'm very, very comfortable. So easy fix. You got to get used to bringing the seat up. And what I recommend people do is just bring it up a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Don't try, try to go from way back to straight up all of a sudden. You'll, you'll, you're not going to like it. You're going to freak out and it's not going to be comfortable. But if you do it gradually, you'll start seeing it's going to uh, fix the problem for you. Okay, that's it for now. I hope you found some of this information useful. Until next time, God bless.